frequently in the markets, and they are tradable events. Uh, here's one that would, I don't want to give you examples of all examples of ones that, you know, actually would have worked out very, very well uh, and always perfectly. Let me give you this as an example. The high on this was 61.92. The high was 61.92. Okay. If you have equal highs, like these two bars I'm talking about right here, the highs are identical, 61.92 and 61.92. That is not an inside day trade. I would not have taken that trade. It looks close, but I would not have taken it. Here's one in particular. It looks interesting. Uh, we've got a long red body with a tail. We've got an inside day uh, that actually has a small real body on it. Uh, I'm trying to find some losers for you uh, if I can. But I want to give you as many examples um, without, any, without rehearsing or any kind of rehearsal at all on these. Uh, these are totally random picks on my part just to see if we can find inside day trades. Uh, in this one in particular, you would have had a um, short entry at the low of this bar at 59.74 and an entry on the on a high of this bar at um, $60.18. You would have gotten filled right in here. And you probably would have had at least one, two, maybe even three profit targets based on day four. So you've got day one, day two, day three, and day four. You would hit all three profit targets probably on this particular trade. That was a nice one. Uh, let me see if I can find some that are failures and total losers here. Um, uh, here's one. Here's one that probably would have set up okay. Uh, you've got a white bar and an inside day. Now this in inside day is fairly large, but it, it is tradable. Uh, you would have you would have gotten you would have not have gotten filled on the very next day uh, at one penny below the low of this bar. Uh, the low of this bar was 61.45. You would have entered your order to go short at 61.44 or long at the high of this bar at uh, 61.88. <coughs> that would not have gotten filled. This would not have gotten filled because it gapped down. It did not trade back up so that you could get filled. It did trade back up to get filled on this day, which is interesting. You would have gotten filled at your uh, short on your short position here at uh, 61.44. Uh, it would have never uh, gone into the upper 25 percentile range. It would have never triggered your stop loss. But you're talking one, two, three, four days. You would have hit maybe one profit target here. Um, and exited the position because uh, it was day four of the position. So you would have gotten out at that time. So that wasn't a big winner, and it was. It's, this is kind of an unusual setup. So that was a good example for you. Uh, of, uh, sometimes these things do happen. Uh, here's a losing. Um, yeah, I'll pick out a loser for you. I don't think I would have traded this because the prior day uh, was kind of an odd uh, small body day. I like them. Or large real bodies rather in my candlesticks uh, prior to my inside day. But this one in particular would have gotten filled on your long side here. Um, it would have gotten stopped out the very next day. Uh, however, it had an opportunity here for a uh, reverse play and you may have hit one or two targets uh, back on the fourth day. But this would have this would have gone up, gotten filled, and then it would have gotten stopped out down here. So that would have been a losing uh, uh, losing position for you, losing setup. However, you could have, uh, if you were interested, you could have reversed the position and gone short. And you would have hit maybe one, maybe even two targets, uh, profit targets on the other side of that trade. Uh, let me take a look at some more. If we want to, we can change stocks. Uh, let's go over to IWM. Now, you can also trade this. It doesn't necessarily have to be a uh, stock. It can be an index like the IWM. Uh, in this case, um, we have an inside day here. We would have gone short here. We probably would have, would, would have hit at least one, maybe even two profit targets. Um, in this case, I use this as a... Um, I use this inside day as a support and resistance point. And what I did was, here, let me show you. I lost it. Where'd it go? Oh, here it is. Um, 
as I mentioned, you can use inside days as support and resistance points. And as soon as this uh, came above this uh, top res uh, channel area here, uh, I used it as an opportunity to go short on the IWM only because it looked like it was establishing a new downtrend. And uh, that's one uh, kind of a side benefit and nuance of inside days is that they do act as support and resistance points and prices tend to vacillate around them sometimes. At this time I was looking at shorting the IWM and it was a great opportunity because it did dip above the uh, this particular high of this inside day. It closed below it and it offered an opportunity to sell which turned out to be a very very good trade days just uh, beyond that. Uh, let's see if there's anything else available here in the IWM. Uh, so it doesn't necessarily have to be a stock. It could be a an ETF as well. Uh, let's see. Here's one right here. I don't think this would have gotten filled though. Uh, it has it has a nice ideal setup because it has a nice large red body. If that was a large white body, it would have been the same thing. But you've got a large red body with a small bodied uh, spinning top candle. Um, and pretty much a spinning top. It's got a fairly fat white uh, uh, real body in there. But still, uh, you would have entered uh, your position to go long just above this bar and short just below it. You would, have, you would not have gotten filled on either one of those. After day four, uh, you would have... Uh, closed your order entry positions and not gotten filled on on this particular setup but it did trade higher and you know if you did have an opportunity to get into it it would have worked that well and probably hit one or more profit targets but in this case it gapped uh, much higher and it did not trade back down so you would not have gotten filled and that's fine um, like I said don't chase these trades just let them go uh, there's always there's always opportunities and as you can see, as, we, as we're going through many of these charts, there's plenty of opportunities out there. You know, you don't have to just, um, see, this looks like it could be an inside day, but it's not because this bar is, this particular high is, is higher than the uh, high of the day before it. Now we're just kind of going through here to see if I can see some additional opportunities. Here's one here. Uh, this is not an ideal setup, but I don't want to give you all ideal setups. <laughs> Uh, actually, I'm not looking for ideal setups, but I am looking for just setups. Uh, but this is an inside day right here. Um, you know, not a bad little setup maybe because of this white bar here pre preceding this, uh, the bar that precedes it. But this is technically an inside day. You would have gone short here. You would have hit at least one profit target here, maybe two, but at least one. And you can see how the prices kind of tend to vacillate around this inside day. Uh, as as it went forward here. Here's another inside day. Uh, as you as you get you know more experience doing this, you'll be able to pick these up pretty quick. Uh, this particular low was 67.98. This low was uh, 68.02. So it's a little bit higher low, so that would qualify as an inside day. Uh, it did not get filled though because it, it gapped higher uh, the very next day and it never traded back down into your entry area. So we let that one go and we move on to the next trade. Uh, here's one in particular that uh, reversed and uh, this is a trade that uh, you could short here. You may have hit one, probably one profit target down here. In this case, however, it reversed and it went higher. So you probably, if you saw it starting to reverse down in here, you might have gotten to the point where, you know, you would have exited that trade. And that's what I did on this particular trade here. Uh, here's another one uh, that was set up. You went short here as it entered the lower end of this trading, uh, this particular channel. And you would have hit at least one, probably just one um, area though. Let's go on to another. Let's just pick a stock at random here. Uh, here's a couple here. Let's see, BWA. Uh, 
Uh, let's see, we would have had, um, let's go back here a little bit and see if we can find something at random. Uh, that's not an inside day. This is an inside day right here. I'm just trying to give you ex as many examples as I possibly can. Uh, you would have gotten filled here. You would hit at least one. Um, let's see. Let's go to another stock here. Let's go to Dell. I'll give you one or two more examples here. Um, let's go back. Uh, let's see if anything stands out. <laughs> There's an inside day here. Let's see how this would have worked out. This one had a particularly long red body. It also had a um, had a very long bar range here. I would not have picked that one. That would not that was that, that's not particularly attractive to me. This one, on the other hand, is a little bit more attractive with the big white bar and the small red body here. Could have drawn our lines here. Uh, we would not have gotten filled on the short side. We would have gotten long on the on the on the uh, long side, and we would have hit at least one profit target, maybe two on day four. And one more example here, and then we'll kind of wrap this up, I guess. <laughs> Here's one here. Oops. Go back here to my charts. Let me go to my drawing tools channels and looks like there's one right in here. Uh, this one we would have gone short right here at the uh, at the low of this particular inside day, which was the low of this day was 2409. We would have gone short short at 2408. Uh, we would have hit at least one profit target here. On the very next day, we would have hit uh, the second profit target, maybe even the third profit target. So that would have worked out very, very nicely right here. So anyway, those are some examples. There's more examples of uh, trades hitting profit targets and not and reversing and so forth in the uh, guide. Uh, I hope you uh, take a look at the video companion quick start guide for more examples and a detailed written um, uh, pages on exactly what inside days are, objectives, uh, identifying inside days, the setup, why the trade works, entrance criteria, stops, trade management, calculating profit targets, exit rules and strategies, special situations, and more example trades. So I want to thank you guys very much. Uh, there's plenty of opportunities out there for these particular kinds of trades. And as I'm looking, as I mentioned, there's lots of opportunities. Now, you know, once you begin to recognize these particular types of trades, you see them all the time. And in this particular trade, I may have, now this is not in the quick start guide, but I may have set my stop loss down here just to give that a little bit more room since this closed in the upper end of this particular bar. But it looks like I would have gotten filled and uh, stopped out here. However, it looks like it could have reversed and gone higher, and that would have been a very nice trade indeed. Uh, and if you're an aggressive player, you could have actually, you know, kept part of your position uh, just in case. Just in case. <laughs> anyway, I wish you guys the best of luck and go out there and trade with confidence.